All right, welcome everybody to this week. Um, we're excited to show you what we got done this week. We have ventured up into the attic. Not what we have planned. They had two rooms up here and we want to make it a little bit more open concept. We will still divide it into rooms. We'll have a bathroom, a office and a nice master bedroom up here. So what we will do is take the wood down. There's also insulation on top that I'm shoveling out first and then take the ceilings down and then eventually take the walls down. You can tell we have a pretty big space up here. It is full height. I think somewhere in the 16 to 20 feet until the top. And then over here, there's a room in here, pretty small and six foot ceilings. We'll take out the walls to make that all one space. And then here was the big room we took the walls down i think all in all we'll put obviously new walls up where we divide it into some closets and bathroom and maybe even a small little office space too we'll see we have to also fit up an air conditioning unit somewhere up here so we will have to do some planning before we can put up the walls pretty messy again they added about two inches of insulation on the rafters above those two rooms so all of that stuff obviously came down and again big mess but I think the rest of that I have still here the walls and the rest of the siding here that I'm gonna take off so that we can put insulation everywhere it's going to be much better there won't be as much or probably any insulation still in there so now i just need to clear out all that space and debris that we made and then clean up before i take all the rest of it off because it's just easier to work with
haven't made any plans for it up here. What we really know is we want to have a master bedroom with at least two walk-in closets, a bathroom with a shower and toilet at least, and a nice vanity, double vanity probably. And then probably also we're going to add a little office space in here so it's a little more private, quiet in the evenings but we want to use the space. And then depends on what we can uh, fit. We also need to keep space for a room where the AC or the heat pump. So we also need to keep a little bit of space for the heat pump for the up, up, uh, upper two floors. So we have to fit that somewhere in this, in this area. And we also have to have obviously plumbing figured out. That's one of the reasons why I'm working on this right now. Not so much that we want to get it all done at once, but this is actually a project that we want to complete after we're done with the floors downstairs. But I need to do the plumbing first because I need to have access to the ceilings uh, below so that I can run the plumbing for the bathroom up here. So what we need to do is take all the walls out. As you can see, uh, that's what I have been doing here, taking out the walls. I'm trying to finish up tomorrow, um, taking the rest of the paneling off on all the walls, opening up into this room so that we can really measure all the space, figure out how we want to lay it out. And maybe um, we might even add a little plan um, in this video. If it doesn't come up in this video, we'll put, add it to next week's video just so that we know what we want to do and finish all the plumbing and electrical everywhere. So one of the common questions that we get is what we are doing about insulation in the roof line. So common practice nowadays is to put actually the insulation on the outside of the roof. So you don't have to vent it or anything like that. Um, there's also another technique that you can now <clears throat> that you can use when you're remodeling a roof, especially when it's an old one. And it's you can fill the cavities completely with spray foam um, closed cell on the outside so that you have a watertight um, a watertight barrier, airtight barrier, so you don't have um, air circulation going be between the two, but it also gives extra, extra structural uh, stability. Um, everywhere where the foam just fills all the cracks, it's just gonna strengthen the whole roof. So we're gonna spray foam most likely at least four inches, so that we get a really good R value. Four inches should give us already about a 28, 26 to 28 R value. So normally common is nowadays 30 to 36 in at least in the areas that we live in. And either we're gonna spray foam the entire eight inches or four inches of spray foam. And then we are adding rock wool insulation. Um, the rock wool insulation obviously helps with fire retardants. So we won't have any issues there. Plus, I mean, we're gonna clad the entire thing with drywall Obviously, it would be nice to have the, leave these beams exposed. It looks beautiful, the wood exposed, but since we are opting to keeping the roof as a slate roof, we are kind of limited besides rebuilding the entire roof by basically taking it all off, putting insulation on it, going much thicker, and then putting the <clears throat> slate on top of that. But obviously, that's just not in our budget. So we are going to go the next best thing and adding all the insulation on the inside.
even deconstruction is a kind of a puzzle. I have to take a couple layers on this wall first so that I can take the rest of this down because the boards are longer than the walls. So I need to have a little bit of space to pry them out. So one of you did um, comment a while back that we should get the attic done um, as far as at least the demo goes um, while the house is still at the state that it's at. So once we start cleaning up and everything then it's going to be at least mostly cleaned up and that was definitely a good idea and so we're going ahead and getting um, a bit of the work done up here in the attic just so that once we move in and all of our stuff is here, we don't have all the debris coming down on us from this third floor. So. There's definitely a lot more evidence from the fire one, maybe there was more than one fire here, um, that has come up to the roof line and you can see where some of this has been repaired and you can still see some of the old damaged wood here. So I would be really curious to do a little bit of research and see what I can find, if I can find any records that talk about when that might have happened. So you can see that this whole space on the third floor is um, just way more beautiful than we even thought it would be once we opened everything up. Uh, the windows are gorgeous. The ceiling uh, goes way high up into the rafters. And so we want to keep it as open as we can. Uh, but we do need to sit down and plan a design for this area of where we can put in uh, some good his and hers closets and a nice bathroom up here so we'll have to see where we want to section off a few of these areas and keep the main area as open as we can okay everybody so that's all for this week and thank you all so much for watching every week and be sure to like and subscribe if you're new and share the channel with your friends and we'll see you next week Thanks, bye. Bye.